Hey guys, this is Paper Lore Plays, and welcome back to our Undertale adventure. Last time we entered Snowden, and we're making our way over to Snowden Town. For what reason, I am not entirely sure. We met the brothers, Sans and Papyrus, who had a bit of a bone to pick with us. <laughs> uh, nah, they're pretty cool guys. I like them. Sans make bad puns and is really chill, and Papyrus is funny. And we left off after completing a few puzzles uh, to head further in, but first I want to talk to this guy. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Ooh, ooh, much. Alright, let's head out and see what they have next for us. Oh, this looks like an X's and O's thing again, because the last one went so well. It's a snow papyrus. <laughs> it's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red mark. <laughs> Oh, these two. These two. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to figure out how the snow physics work. Or the ice physics. Okay, alright, I see. Hmm. Alright. I get it. I get ya. I got ya. Alright, that was easier than the last one. Yay, bridges! Hey, look, I made a bridge. That sounded more Spanish than I was going for. If you get the reference, you'll know. Oh, was there a snow on my head? Aww. Look at that. There must be ice behind there. And then there's a bunch of little snow on her head. How cute. Alright. Uh, what's this way? It's a snow puff. What a tiny doghouse. Woof. Well, I don't know what you expected a sign created by a dog to say. Oh! Why does it have a tail? Aww. It's a puppy. Aww, how cute. Whoa! Okay. Um. <laughs> Apparently, this is a rather well-known song. <laughs> Greater dog, check. Greater dog, six attack, four defense. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Bark, bark. Okay, so avoid the barks. Raider Dog is watching you intently, so let's play with it. Raider Dog is not excited enough to play with. Ah! Dang it! I'm waiting for your command. You call the Greater Dog. It bounds towards you. Flecking slobber into your face. Now, I'm not personally a dog person. I'm more of a cat person, but dogs are cool too. Uh, let's pet. Your dog curls up in your lap. I don't want to think of that curling up in my lap. It falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh, this is adorable, okay? And the goofy music. Let's play with it. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Raider Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh. Greater dog wants some TLC. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Pet capacity is 40%. Let's pet him. Let's pet him. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with his legs hanging in the air. It STILL KILLED ME! And it freaking killed me! I thought you liked me, dog! Ugh! 
I keep getting killed by a dog. That's what I get for saying I'm a cat person. Greater dog is contented. Alright, so I got back to the place. <clears throat> Did I actually... 40 gold, okay. I did that three times for no reason. Aww. You're so cute. <laughs> Be careful there, buddy. Be careful. Alright, where does this lead? I know Sans is down there, but... Oh, okay. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Oh! Well, when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. There's a dog in there. Oh, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. I'm just going to give you my puppy dog face. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Oh, it goes. Whew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Nyeh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. I'm just going to go back and see what the other route will add to. Oh, new enemy! Jif... Hot. What the fudge is this? Check. Gift rot. No, seven attack, three death. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Oh, go ahead and laugh. Oh, oops. Ah, the scent of fresh pine needles. I'm just gonna get the decorations off. You remember the stupid cane that says... I use this thing, tiny cane, to walk on it. That's a little better. Okay, oops. If I was slightly less irritated. You remove a small, confused dog. That's a little better. <coughs> oh! Right, I'm using this as an opportunity to see what happens down here. What do you have to say? What's up? Oh, just that? Just what's up? Oh, <laughs> Say, are you following me? Okay, hopefully I'm not gonna die. Barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. Just out of slightly less irritated. You remove a childhood photograph of Snowdrake and his parent. That's a little better. Oh, 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 that moves fast. That moves fast. <laughs> Your dad is slightly less irritated. You remove the stupid cane that says I use this thing to walk. Oh, it has been lifted. If Josh's problems have been taken away. 20 gold. Now what's this? I'm kind of glad I can't got to come back here. What's this? Uh. It's a door. Huh, this must be a puzzle of some kind. Maybe I can't figure it out until later. All right. 
All right, I'm just gonna get back to where I was. Aww. All right, I'm back here. Had to fight the dog two more times, but okay. Welcome to Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. Aw. Thanks, I'm glad to be here. And there was a safe point right here. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Saving town. Uh, use the box? Oh, this is the same kind of box. No, I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Okay. Okay. Alright, so I kind of want the... Uh... Alright, so... Let's talk to her. Say hello. Hiya! Welcome to Snowden! I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Rilby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. I can only imagine. Now, what's the history of this town? Back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up a camp at Snowden. Oh, I don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Well, who are you? Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but... We all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we get that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? It's kind of depressing. I'm gonna leave. Bye now! Come again sometime! Alright! And, uh, so let me see that, uh, manly bandana we got. Uh, it has seen some wear. It has abs drawn on it. <laughs> I don't know how much I want to wear that, but I equipped it. Uh, at least. Let me see if I can sell. <laughs> oh. Sass. The sass on your average RPG. That's the. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Yeah, maybe I could put that there. Yeah. All right. Here's the inn. Welcome to Snowed Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is eighty G. Nah. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Why would I need the inn when I've got a full heal right here? I'm gonna have to say that obviously for the third time. Okay. Uh, don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're e efficiently laid out. Let's see who's here. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. What's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree? Ah, Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> Grillbees. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's... politics. <laughs> Makes more sense than ours. Ah, oh, what's this? Dot dot dot. Rome says that we don't have a glass of water. But he doesn't touch the stuff. 
Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. No wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. <laughs> it's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Eh? Whatever that was. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. We're so skeletons, we throw us a bone. We love bones. Mm, isn't human food different from monster food? That looks horrifying. It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> no matter where I go, it's the same menu. The same people. Oh, I want new drinks and odd guys. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Aww. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Sure. <laughs> the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Huh. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Alright, um, what else can I do in here? The jukebox is broken. Okay. There's nothing in here. Now where'd they go? Where'd they go? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Greenness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. <laughs> we all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. So why be morose about it? Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. I'd like working at that kind of newspaper. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. Look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Okay, you look kind of horrifying too. That look in your eye. You're someone that has a difficulty solving junior jumble, aren't you? Oh, that's a looks, isn't it? Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oh, snap, son. Monster History Part 4. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Go over here. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn to dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. <laughs> Wait, was that a reference to Toho? <clears throat> Didn't they have spell cards? I've never played Toho. I, I, I've, I should, but I've never played Toho. But I know that there's spell cards, right? Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh. Sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are s attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searched searing heat. 
until we reach what you now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> so I guess that's some hints about what would happen if you did a genocide run, is you'd get really powerful, you'd get super leveled up. Ah, to be young again. Real sure felt boundless. Oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, oh, my patience rewards me. <laughs> well, this lady or person isn't gonna do anything for us. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but anyway. But then you get so overpowered. Rabby. Okay. You get so overpowered that you just- It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Sorry, I'm just kind of like wandering around exploring this town. I want to hear everything these people have to say. It's locked. <clears throat> it's locked from the inside. Okay. Glad to specify. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. <sighs> then I guess we know who the other one belongs to. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Okay, let's just go up here. But what exactly? What am I supposed to do? There must be a hint, because I was expecting a block to go by up there. Uh, let's play Monsters and Humans. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? <laughs> cute. Very cute. <clears throat> anyway, I just kind of wanted to see what this town, what the townspeople here had to say, so... Okay, so this is a neat little town, but I'm not entirely sure where to go next. Where do I go next? I'm mildly confused. Oh, 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 this is a way out. Okay. <clears throat> that would have been really sad if I... Oh, what is this? What is going on? What? What's happening? I see myself now. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings. They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You should be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No. It's all wrong! I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I could fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. It's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Okay. Papyrus, your attack, two defense, or eight attack, two defense. He likes to say nyeh heh heh. Nyeh heh heh. Okay. You just do that. Papyrus is trying too hard to play it cool. Wow, flirting. So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Oh, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date a little later after I capture you. Oh my gosh, I love this guy. <laughs> Virus is thinking about what to wear for his <coughs> first date. Oh no. Let's date later. <coughs> so you want to fight? And let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Yay. 
Yay. <laughs> what? You're blue now. That's my attack. <coughs> oh my god. His voice is killing me. Yeah. You're blue now. Um, I wonder what I should wear. Okay, so this looks like the real battle starting here. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Okay. What? The I'm not thinking about that day thing. <gasps> this skeleton still thinks I'm gonna. Okay, I completely missed my rhythm there. Papyrus dabs MIT brand. Bishy cream. MTT brand bishy cream behind his ear. Moe. Moe. Look up longer to jump higher. Jeez. Alright, I got it now. I got it now. So basically, if I'm hitting up, can't really. Anime powder. Moe. Moe. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Pyro stabs MIT cutie brand cute juice behind his ear. You eat one half of the bis- bi bice bice Oh, I get it now! I can almost stay in my future popularity. You're great, Papyrus. You're amazing. Oh, man. I can see why these guys are so popular. Tax attraction slime. Uh, maybe I should try flirting again? Oh, my, okay. Pyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Pyrus, unfair lad's spaghetti door. Okay, okay. I'm not in a good spot right now. Iris realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> this game is amazing. Undyne will be really proud of me. How do you avoid those? Paris is considering his options. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh, I can move left and right, okay. Pyrus is cackling. You do that. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. Pyrus whispers, yeah. <laughs> I'll have lots of admirers, but... <laughs> oh, buff. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Well, anyone like me as sincerely as you? I like you, buddy. I like you a lot. You're funny. Now, please stop hitting me, because I'm in a bad spot right now. I I'm gonna have a bad time. Iris is preparing a bone attack. You eat the cinnamon bunny. Your HP was maxed out. Someone like you is really rare. Okay, that's how you do that. Okay. Alright, okay, I get it. Didn't think you could move. Smells like bones. And dating might be kind of hard. Okay, all right, got, got it, got it, got Pyrus whispers, yeah, hey, hey. After you're captured and sent away. Pyrus is rattling his bones. <sighs> Who cares? Give up. Pyrus whispers, yeah, hey, hey. Okay. Give it up, or face my special attack. Okay, okay, that's fast. 
Uh, very soon I will use my special attack. Ah! Uh, fudge! Why am I taking so much damage? Uh, not too long and I will use that special attack. I'm sucking at this! What is going on? Fudge! Last chance? Okay. Please stop soon. Please stop! I mean, I like you. I like you, guy. I like you, Papyrus, but... Behold my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack? Hey, you stupid dog! Did you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh, well. Oh, she's a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Alright, here's an absolutely normal attack. Okay. Uh, that failed. <laughs> There's the doge! Battle pose, that is fabulous. Uh, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, I like to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. That was your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Good. I didn't want to kill you, buddy. I would have been sad. <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. And Tyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Rogue Guard. My friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, we haven't even had our first date. But I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed was to, to make pals? Was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. And us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, we'll have to pass. Through the king's castle... The king of all monsters. He is... Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say... Excuse me, Mr... Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> by the way, his voice is killing me. I kind of want to see what happens if you go back to his house, honestly. But that was great.